So in this session, we'll see about the practical session of the smart deduplication software. So for that, get into file system deduplication. And also this this deduplication software is a license based. You need license to run this. Without license, you can only do a assessment and dry run a job. The uh, the full run job will not uh, run until unless you have a valid license. So here you can see the deduplication savings. So this is uh, showing for the entire cluster and uh, used space is 1.13 GB out of 56.2 GB. And uh, deduplication data is zero bytes from the zero bytes config for the deduplication. So let's do a, a, a deduplication uh, assessment. So for that, go to the deduplication. So here, okay, deduplication assessment. So it's here. So there are two jobs, one is deduplication and the other one is a deduplication assessment. So for that, you need to go to deduplication assessment, edit, and here you can see the job. So to put the path, so we'll have to go to the deduplication settings. And here you have to give the path. So this is this for the first path is for the uh, the actual run and the second path is for the, for the assessment so if you want to go for assessment then you have to give the path here so i'll give this path select save changes so now that's done so when i want to start the job i have to go to the job and start the job so now it will ask you for uh, the confirmation so here you can see deduplication and assessment jobs must be configured within the directory so in the path i mean the you should not uh, put the directory ifs but it should be after the ifs data folder start job so once this job is completed then we can see the progress so here you can see the progress and uh, in this you can see the faces different faces that it's going on Phase one of one started. Let's refresh and see. So it's running. So once this job has completed, we will see how much is the space that we have gained from this deduplication assessment. So this will show the report here, and with that report, we will be able to uh, find uh, like exactly how much data that we can save if we really run this. Uh, deduplication job on that particular folder so this particular assessment job will give us a idea and that can be so from that idea we will come we can take a decision on uh, like you know on what we, we are going to do with the uh, capacity issues so when, whenever you are running out of the capacity the first option that you have to go is the deduplication option so this deduplication option will uh, save at least some amount of space uh, in your cluster So that's it for this lecture, we'll see you in the next lecture.